We've been shipping Big Screen Beyond to customers for a couple of months now, and recently something caught my eye. Within a day of receiving their Beyond, modders managed to create something pretty insane. Today, we're going to talk about eye tracking in Big Screen Beyond. Some members of our community are part of a group called iTrack VR. They've been building open source eye tracking modules for a bunch of VR headsets that don't have eye tracking built in natively. For example, the Index, and now the Big Screen Beyond as well. So why doesn't Big Screen Beyond have eye tracking built in natively? Well, one of our core design principles is that every gram matters. There are a lot of use cases in VR like racing sims or uh, playing Half-Life Alex or watching movies in big screen, where you don't necessarily need eye tracking. When we're building the world's lightest VR headset, a headset designed to be the most comfortable in the world, to be worn for many hours straight, even just adding an extra 10 grams that you might not need if you're, for example, playing racing sims, well, that's like a 10% increase in weight and conflicts with our design principles. So that's what's cool about this mod. For use cases where you do want eye tracking, like VR chat, for example, you now have a solution. So let's talk about the components within this, how it works, and what might come next. To make this work, you'll notice there's some Omnivision cameras, infrared LEDs, and circuit boards around the headset. They're mounted right on the outside with a couple flexes tying them together. You'll notice it plugs right into the USB-C accessory port on the Beyond. On this side is the main USB-C that goes straight to your computer. Instructions on how to get started are on the iTrack VR website. You'll need to do a little bit of tinkering, soldering, 3D printing to get this going. It's pretty accessible. If you've done work with Raspberry Pis before, you should be able to figure your way out on this. And at some point, we'll write a blog post and put out some more information about how you could go and build your own iTrack VR mod for the Big Screen Beyond. For now, just briefly, You'll need a couple 3D printed parts, like a mount and a cover. You'll need these eye tubes as well. These are little adapters that allow that slot right on top of the optical module and hold the cameras and sensors in place. You'll also need a couple of Omnivision cameras, uh, infrared LED emitters, um, and, and a couple other parts, but be very careful. Follow the exact instructions that iTrack VR puts out because you don't want to pick out just any infrared LED. Uh, one thing to really be careful of with eye tracking and, and mods for eye tracking with, with a headset, you're shining a lot of infrared light into your eyes and the wrong kinds of emitters at the wrong power settings uh, can really cause damage to your eyes. So really be careful with what you're doing here uh, and make sure you buy the exact components that are recommended at the specs that are recommended and, and use the firmware and software that's provided by iTrack VR. Once you've got everything assembled onto the Beyond, you'll have to run the iTrack VR software on your computer. When setting it up, you'll see the camera feeds from each eye in the iTrack VR application. After some calibration and adjusting thresholds, you're ready to hop into VR chat. I was surprised to see it worked right away, capturing my eye movement and my blinking, which is great for social VR. That being said, the current algorithms, camera and sensor placement needs further refinement. The beta I tried is not fully stable, but you can see the promise here. With further work, good eye tracking is definitely possible with this mod. This is pretty insane. If you think about it, the Beyond was just announced like seven months ago. We just started shipping a couple of months ago, and we already have eye tracking in it. It's pretty affordable too. The components here cost like $50. The bomb and all the documentation is listed. It's all open source. I'm really curious to see what comes next. Are people going to keep modding this and adding more and more capabilities? This is now a pretty feature-packed device, eye tracking being one of those really nice high-end features, particularly for social VR. So a massive shout out to Brohertz and the modders who created this awesome device. It's really cool to see how in just a little bit of time, people have managed to create eye tracking right into the beyond, and it works great for VR chat. I would love to support the iTrack VR team to bring this mod to market and help shrink it down, make a easy to install kit, perhaps with no technical experience required. If you're interested in building your own iTrack VR mod or in this kit, 
Go to bigstreetvr.com slash eye tracking and let me know what you think.